Hey guys, so I'm making this tutorial in response to a poster on the Answer Hub and they were trying to use an overlap event to play some matinees that basically open and close a random door. So they have five matinees in here and they're each going to open and close a different door when the player walks over this trigger. The problem they were having is that the door that was opening wasn't the same as the door that was closing using this script. Now, the issue for this, uh, the way it's set up right now, um, is that, first of all, you're using an overlap trigger here, but you're not actually telling the overlap what, you know, character you're looking for. So who is overlapping? Right now, this will do, will execute this function. Doesn't matter if it's a player, a cube, a block, an alien, because there's nothing set here, you know, to check for an overlapped actor. So that would be the first thing that I would fix. I would put a cast node here just to make sure that we're checking for the right actor. The second thing is that we're having this play here. So we're playing the matinee, which is actually opening the door. Now, if you look at this, we have a target, right? So this is the specific matinee actor that we're going to be playing. And if you trace the wire all the way back, we have a git node. And the git node is pulling something out of this array. And what it's pulling out is a random integer between 0 and 4. So this is all great. It's going to pull out something random, which is exactly what the original poster wanted. And it's going to come up here and it's going to play that, you know, matinee. So this is going to open some random door. And then after a certain delay, you want it to reverse. And reversing would be closing the door. The problem here is if you look that the reverse node is also attached directly to the git. And the git is going to once again execute through all of this stuff so it's going to look for another random integer and it's going to grab it out of this array and that's the door it's going to reverse so while logically we're thinking like well if I hit play you know and open up door number one after a delay I want to reverse door number one because that's the only one that opened up right that would make sense and to the human brain that makes perfect sense to a computer though it has no clue that that's exactly what you're trying to do. That doesn't make any logical sense. The computer's reading each of these nodes as individual things. So it's only going to function on the information that you give it. So if you look at each of these things in isolation, the first thing it's doing right here is it says, I'm going to play. What am I playing? What is this target that I need to play? So it's going to follow this wire back. It's going to say, OK, there's a git node. What am I getting? I'm going to get a random integer. So it's going to pull a random integer like two. And then it's going to say, what am I doing with that? Well, I'm going to get that out of this array. What's at index two? This matinee actor. So that's the one that I'm going to feed into this target. Then I'm going to wait, you know, a few seconds or whatever, and then I'm going to reverse. And what am I reversing? I'm reversing this target. So what is this target though? Well, the computer's tracing back, going to go right back to this git node, and it's going to say, okay, give me another random integer. This time I might pull out four. So now it's going to go into this array and pull out index 4 and play this fifth matinee. So you're playing the third matinee actor, but you're reversing the fifth one because both of these things are connected directly to the git node. So how do we fix this? So first of all, this is just a random stupid test world that I made, but it has this matinee actor that I just threw in here. All right. So now I'm going to go into the level blueprint, and I'm going to right click, and that's going to open up this menu. And I'm going to create a reference to the matinee actor. Now from here I have to create an array. So I'm going to click here with the left mouse button, and type in create. And we're going to create, if it will let me make an array, sorry, not create, make array. So now we have an array like the original poster had, and I'm just going to add a few more pins in here just for, you know, clarity. But I don't have any extra matinee actors. We'll just plug these things in here, right? Or actually, guys, I can... Let me just duplicate these. Did it work? No, it didn't. I duplicated some other stuff down here. Alright, delete that. Let me see if I can 
duplicate the many. There we go. Alright, so now I have a few more matinee actors just to play around with. So I'll go back into the level blueprint. And I'm going to make references to these three. So again, right click, create references to three selected actors. So I don't need this one anymore. And now I'm just going to plug these three in. One, two, three. And from here, just like the original poster, I'm going to have a git node. And then we want a random integer. So drag off of here, release, and type random. And you see random integer just comes up. You can click on it. Oh, sorry. We need random integer in range. And our range is going to be 0 to 2. Because that's how many array indexes we have. Now, what we need to do is actually take this output here, right click on it, and say promote to variable. So this is going to be our matinee reference. So now you see it's created this variable over here. And we're going to set this variable and that's what we're going to use to actually play and reverse these matinees. So I'm going to drag off of here and just say play to pull up that node and drag off of here again and get reverse. And in between, we want it to have a delay. So I'll just drag off and type delay. And hook these wires up. Now, what we want to do is, we don't want to have this directly connected to anything. I just need to do that to get these nodes. So I'm going to right click here and click break link. And do the same over here. Right click, break link. And what I want to do is take this reference that we have, our new variable we created, click on it with the left mouse, drag it in, and place it over the target. And then you can drag off of here and place it into this target. So now we're using this set reference that we have, that we made down here, to then play these and reverse them. So now this is going to be the exact same thing. Whatever copy this pulls out the first time, we're setting that as the matinee reference. And now this won't change when we go from play to reverse. Because see they're attached to the same um, matinee reference. And the only thing left to do is to give this something to execute off of. So I'm just going to go back into my world, just pick a random box that I had from some other uh, tutorial, go back into the blueprint, right click, create a reference to the kill volume, oh, sorry not a reference, right click and say on overlap you think or on actor overlap, add on actor begin overlap here no, I already have it. So this is from another thing. Don't worry about this, guys. I'm going to just delete it from here. Control X. And I'm going to paste it down here. Control V. So this is the node that we want to use. Um, the original poster had uh, this hooked up to a trigger volume, but it really doesn't matter. It's whatever you want to fire off this execution. Now, what we would like to do is cast this to a player. I'm assuming that's what the original poster wanted. Um, when the player walks over a trigger volume, you want to play a certain you know, matinee reference. So we're going to cast this to uh, bridge pickup, I think is a character I have in here. And this doesn't really matter. It's just whatever you want to cast it to, to set this execution off. And then we're just going to drag this straight over here to the set. So now what this code is saying is, when something, whatever you want this to be, your player character, overlaps your trigger volume or whatever you want to execute this off, check to make sure that the overlapping actor is what we want it to be. And if it, that's true, if it's the player, for example, 
then come here and set this matinee reference and how is it going to set it? It's going to pull back to this git it's going to pull over here, get a random integer and then it's going to pull that out of the array so now that we have the random integer pulled out of this array we're going to set this variable and this is not going to change for the rest of this execution now so this matinee reference is the exact same thing that we set here you could even pull this in directly like this but for clarity I just left it here as the variable as separate so now it's going to play this delay and then reverse the exact same matinee reference so this is how you would do it to make sure that you don't end up getting two random integers from back here leading to two different you know matinee actors playing All right. I hope the original poster thought that was helpful and anybody else that's having issues creating variables or doing something like this if you run into this kind of a problem just double check that you don't have two things going from a get to a random integer or a random float or anything anytime you're using this random thing you gotta be careful that you set whatever the output is to a variable if you want to do multiple things with it alright I'll see you guys later